<clears throat> All right. Just waiting for everything to fire up, then we'll jump into <coughs> jump into a league with some Esper Shadow. Trying out David Ochoa's list. Kind of excited to play this deck. Like it's like a Death Shadow deck that has like the best part of Grixis, which is Snapcaster, and the best part of Jun, which is Lingering Souls. I think this is pretty much his list, except I changed a Liliana the Last Hope for a Nile Spellbomb. Like Kevin Last Hope with Snapcaster is just like way too good. And yeah, I want I wanted to wanted to have that. So um I'm pretty excited. I think the white cards are interesting. Like obviously Stony Silence is a home run. I don't know if Stony Silence plus Disenchant is too much. Lingering Souls is a, a home run, in my opinion. <laughs> and we got Anguish and Making, which is kind of cool. In the main deck, and then the one path. He plays a basic planes to support all this, which is kind of interesting. Over another Shockland. <clears throat> it's just an interesting, <clears throat> interesting deck list. So the sideboard's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Something that like. I think that we might find that's kind of a deck building flaw is that like in grindy matchups, we want to get rid of these and there's just not that many cards to bring in. So I'm going to have to figure out how best to sideboard because we want the, this, this, but then we don't have very much more to take out at all. So it's kind of interesting. Maybe he's got a, just a different philosophy about the deck than I do, but I don't know. The guy's obviously guy obviously knows what he's doing. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll give it a try. This is David Ochoa's list. I think he wrote about it on Channel Fireball today. So, I'm gonna jump into it into a competitive modern league. And hopefully we do all right. I've been struggling a lot with the new decks that I've been playing. And that's kind of like, that's kind of my issue as a Magic player. Is I, I struggle a lot at learning new decks. It takes me a while and I'm pretty slow at it. <clears throat> my first glance at this deck I tend to think that vi like these disenchants can be something else pretty easily, but especially when we already have the unmakings, <coughs> these seem kind of wasted, like wasted slots to me. But I could be wrong. And this hand is fine. I will keep this. <clears throat> Opponents on the play, and they're thinking. I will keep. Scalding Tarn. <sighs> Ooh. It's like we got a little Death Shadow Mirror match. It'll be interesting to see who wins like the blue Death Shadow Mirrors. Like, I tend to think I'm probably a little bit ahead because I got two Liliana the Veils in the main deck. But I don't have Kologon's Command. And Snapcaster Kologon's Command is a pretty powerful setup for this deck. <clears throat> oh gosh. Who? Play this and we'll pass. Almost clicked through my turn there. I think I'm going to stub whatever my opponent gives me the chance to stub here so that I can work towards this Gurmag Angler. My opponent knows that I can stub this. We're not going to show him white yet. Or a watery grave. My opponent might already know by the fact of my choice of fetch land. Oh, opponent's got a one-lander. I 
makes his path to exile kind of awkward. So I want to get down to get down to Death Shadow range, but not do much more than that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Gurmag and have Stub up, as opposed to casting this Liliana. So now I'll get the Godless Shrine, and we'll go get Nasty Gurmasty into play. And hopefully our opponent doesn't have like their own Liliana. That would be a little frustrating. They had like removal spell into Liliana. Because I've got a pat I've got to stub this. I could have gotten a hollowed fountain. So I could leave up both, I guess, but my hand is very black. So we might trade stubs here. Which was like exactly what's gonna happen. No. Okay. Well, it's got three cards in hand, so let's hope that uh, let's hope that we can <clears throat> answer whatever our opponent does with Liliana here. I think they know they know one card, but they know that I have a Death Shadow. But I think that's it. So now we're just going to play this Liliana. Ooh, I might have messed up how I... Because there's not another land in this deck. That might not be good. Because I might not be able to cast my Death Shadow and cast my own. Uh, let me look at this deck list here. I don't know if I have another Black Shock Land. I don't want to play this thing where I can get Snap Dismembered. Yeah, because of the planes, there's only three Black Shock Lands. So I messed up my tapping here. I think I'm just going to hold this Liliana. We still have a Hollowed Fountain we can fetch, which is going to be the play. <clears throat> my opponent flashes in a no, they're not gonna do anything. Okay. Hopefully my opponent doesn't bolt this Liliana. That would suck. And we were just like this is what I said, like I think that Ochoa's um basic planes is a little egregious. Uh, that's pretty good. I don't even think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to play Death Shadow and not do anything. I guess we'll tap our non-blue land. Again, I'm just going to hold this Liliana in play, I think. Like, both my cards are really good. If I find some duds, I'll start ditching them, but I want to keep each one of these cards. <coughs> Stub that. What do you got, opponent? Okay, they have another stub, sure. I guess we'll cycle this. Do I want to go four? Four seems a little sketchy. The Street Wraith is really good in the mirror match. I could I could discard the Street Wraith. <coughs> no, we're just gonna cycle this again. We can deal with the Snapcaster Mage. <coughs> My 
my opponent goes snap path or snap push, I'll probably just path the snapcaster mage. Because <clears throat> that means I can start using this. But it's not, you can't use this to just toss random cards, I think. So there's the snapcaster mage. We knew that was coming. Opponent cast it. Oh, Cody Jones, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome to the Roan Squad, my friend. That's our 10th sub point, which is another emote, which I'm pretty excited about. <clears throat> Sounds good, Cody. Take it easy. Now we get another emo. Written commanded. That's pretty bad. Now my opponent just shocks me, makes me discard. And my opponent's got a bolt too. Or a snapcaster. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Yep, opponent got me. It was an awkward game. Like I, I landed a Liliana, but it was it was like really difficult to use it. Maybe I took a little too much damage. So we definitely want these. I know that I don't want these. I don't think I want Fulminator Mage. I don't think I want the Surgical either. I think this is just how we're gonna play it. He does not have a lot of cards for this mirror match. <clears throat> I feel like this deck should be all right against Grixis. It's kind of like losing Kologon's Command versus... Um, it's like Kologon's Command versus Lingering Souls is like the big tension, I guess. This card seems pretty good in these mirrors. Anything that can kill like Liliana the Veil and Gurmag Angler while growing your Death Shadow. Yep, we'll keep this. We have a removal spell, a discard spell, and two threats. This hand's very good. We'll go with our Flooded Strand first because it's our worst land. Get an Overgrown Tomb. Oh, not an Overgrown Tomb, a Watery Grave. Uh, go to 15. Oh, it's kind of, is it Static Caster? So I think the best way for me to get out of this hand is to take the Thoughtseize, land this Liliana, and start going up. And just, like, getting cards out of my opponent's hand. It's kind of a sketcher. Opponent easily could be in trouble here. Oh, let me... I need to fix that, what's going on with Nightbot there. I gotta fix that with Nightbot, that's, that's my fault. Oh, um, I guess I should fetch my white source. Let me check out this list here. <clears throat> so what is this? a green black death shadow deck? So we got a dismember, abrupt decay. 
played three Grim Flares. I can get behind three Grim Flares. You played two Swamps, which I don't really like. You drew Death Shadow. All right, we're just going to get this down here. We'll delve away this Lingering Souls, unfortunately. Our opponent's got a Static Caster, though. Um, what do we got here? Seal Primordium. The four Fulminator Mages seem kind of egregious, but that's probably that's part of the reason having black green. Traverse Thought Seize. It's cool. You 5 0 with this. I mean, you're much better against like the land destruction decks. Thought Seize, that kind of sucks because now I gotta take my Liliana. Oh, they took that shadow. Okay. I guess it's like gonna kill them. The only reason I tried the second swap was to cast Liliana through Blood Moon. It wasn't really relevant though. Yeah, I would not play the swamp that if, if I was going to play that deck. One, two, three. So I'm gonna attack, and then I think I'm just gonna play Death Shadow. What is going on with these? Nightbot's just like going nuts. I need to just like let me get on a Nightbot here. Let me tell Nightbot what's up. And then I'm just going to play another Death Shadow. Because <clears throat> Nightbot's losing its mind. This Esper Gorio's deck is one of my one of my favorite decks in modern. <clears throat> and the search for Escantas are really good. I see you got two of those. What do we got here? Is this like Cantrip? It's a Thought Scour. Yeah, I mean this deck, like again, it's like this is one of my favorite decks in modern. I'm sure you could find a way to play Lingering Souls. If you so chose to. Um, spam protection. Links. Links are enabled. Like what is going on? Excess emotes. Enabled. Flow time users that repeat words or phrases. Well. Disable. So we should be good now. With the whole link game there. Yeah, this Esper Gorio's deck is good. I think you easily could, like, get rid of... I don't think Tasker the Golden Fang is great. I think you easily could move away from that card. Um, you could just, like, shave an opt, maybe, to get, like, a couple Lingering Souls in there. Okay, there's Tasker. So we're going to edict that away. If we draw a fetch land, our opponent's dead. So I'm not going to crack this. Which we did. Watery Grave. Hallowed Fountain. Edict. Then we'll get in here. <clears throat> Let me jump back over here. God, I'm so hyped. I got another subscriber tonight, which means I'm going to be able to make a new emo. We will submit here. Yeah, I, I think these Aspergorios decks, I think you're going to destroy, like, you're going to beat up on any, like, super fair deck. Like, Jundra, a Jundra Abzan deck is going to struggle against this. Um, a Jundra and Abzan deck is going to struggle with that deck list. Uh, you probably have insane game against Burn.
for the fourth Heath. So we're talking about this green, black, death shadow deck now, right? Four overgrown tombs, four marsh flats. I would play 12 fetch lands regardless. Uh, we're going to ship this. Um, I would play four veils in this deck, I think. Without having use access to Stubborn Denial, I think I would just want to play, have four Liliana of the Veils. I think we're going to put this on the bottom. We don't need more air. Um, and I would look to play something like... I don't know. This deck feels like it could use like another big removal spell. But I guess you have four veils. I would play four veils in this deck. Yeah, I'm not sure how you beat Come with extra control really. May need some different time. You're talking about your the Gorios deck. I think you can outgrind control decks. I mean, if you're like with Search for its content, like you easily could bring in like if you just have Lingering Souls, it's going to give you a lot more game. So I took Lily on the last hope. I think we're just going to Inquisition our opponent. Take their Snapcaster. That sucks that we didn't thought seize them. Now my opponent's going to be able to play an Angler, which is just going to be a huge beating. I might just win the game. I should have been smarter in... Thought sees thought scoured thinking about that because now they have a stub up. So, unless I draw, like, there's no way that I can kill this angler because I don't play a dismember. This angler is going to be pretty back breaking. What does an angler do? It's just a thick, it's just a big dude. Look at this, it's a thick bitch. It's a 5 5. For Delve, so you get rid of cards in your graveyard. It basically costs one for 5-5. Five, five. So this Angler, this zombie fish is just going to swing its... Going to swing its all around at me. Alright, so let's, I guess, play our own Delve Moron. Yo, it's, it's a own. Drew, Drew, check this out. Now, I guess the best way to fight an angler is with your own angler. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, we can't do that. That's so sad. All right, I guess we're going to play our own angler next turn. Stub, stub, static caster. So we'll just get rid of a stubborn denial. Bonnet gets in for five. We play our own zombie fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is going to suck if my opponent's got a dismember. Dude, tell Rich that a roan is the pepperone that's cut from the buffalo. Hang on one second. That's great. I can call him tomorrow and come to him. I'm building at 7.50. Sorry about this one second chat. 7.50. All right, so my opponent's we just got two unknowns here. It kind of sucks we don't have anything to do with this Snapcaster Mage or this Tassiger. Well, it's going to give us start getting us something to do. So we're just I don't want to really want to trade fishes, so we're going to wait.
He was still probably right to play five color, but green black was an idea that had played out pretty smoothly. I can see where it's better against like some of your worst matchups. Having cards in your hand that weren't dead at times was great because of the yeah, Liliana's like the way because like even this Death Shadow deck has that problem where you have the you draw the wrong half of your deck. All right, so this is where that sad moment that we talked about is going to occur. So I guess we got to make our opponent use their stubborn denial. <laughs> All right, our stub gets stubbed. And our opponents, we know that they still have this isn't static cast, which is going to be annoying. I was never great at Grixis Shadow because sometimes the cantrips are out. Yes, uh, that is a problem with Grixis Shadow, is that you just draw like so much air. Sometimes it's just it's it's pretty frustrating. So we're not going to fetch here because we can't even flash in Snapcaster to block. I guess I can fetch and play Tassiger, but I can also do that on my main phase. So we'll wait here, see if we find something. Oh, wow, that was like the best draw on the deck. So we're not going to play around another Stubborn Denial. And I'm going to get Godless, uh, Godless Shrine, I guess. Just have perfect mana. And go get our homegirl into play. Why doesn't anybody play Mindbreak Track for Storm? It's probably just too narrow, Echo Kappa. Like, it's really only good against one deck that is, like, I don't know, 4% of the population, or 6% of the modern metagame. I think the best draw that I can have now is, like, a Cantrip. If I draw a land, nah, then I, I still can't go Tasker with uh, Stubborn Denial back up. Because this it's just too much mana. I would like to find an irrelevant card, discard it, and then be able to play Tasker and keep Snapcaster Mage. Because if we untap with Tasker and Snap Stub, then I feel like we're in a pretty good shape here. What do we got here? Target player discards a card and deals two damage to target creature player. So I guess I guess I'm going to ditch Snapcaster Mage and hopefully my opponent doesn't hopefully I want my opponent to redirect. Thank God. Alright, that's a pretty good draw. So I'm going to just Full retail, and I guess I guess I want to delve three cards. And I guess I'll go two cards because I can go get rid of this, 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 and then just leave like the best two cards in my graveyard. So if we get to activate Tasker, we're probably getting something good back. Thought Scours. This was like their own Del Fatty. Which isn't good for the home team. Okay. Alright. So we know our opponent's last cards uh, is it Static Caster. So we'll just pass the turn. My opponent's free to attack with this Death Shadow and get in for a point of damage. 
because I have to block this. My opponent's got a Kologon's command that's going to be pretty sad, but I don't think we're going to play around it. It would have had to top deck it in order to really get us. Oh, well, the Static Caster deals with his creature as well, his Tassiger as well. So now we get to, like, they to activate this, get hopefully, like, a real good card back. Fatal Push Opt. So my opponent probably gives us Opt. They give us Liliana. So now we just go snap push main phase on this. We'll probably still do that. Well, no, we can't. Well, we still can go snap push. So let's do this first. People will never stop playing the Shadow Nico. Wow, that was a really good draw. I still think I go snap push on this, then go edict plus play a death shadow. That tasker activation put us really far ahead, even though we're in a bit of a rough spot with our our life total sensitive, and this static caster is kind of like a planeswalker. Death Shadow is just the as as the modern pool gets larger. Death Shadow is the only way to play fair. Like you need to become just more efficient. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna play our Liliana first, so it doesn't get stubborn denied. Send it. I'm working on it, man. Oh no, I mistapped. I can't play my. That's all right. I mean, my opponent's got a way to grow their Death Shadow. We're in trouble, but because of mistap there, don't flash anything in. Don't grow your Death Shadow. We messed up. We messed up, chat. Which is gonna suck because we like are wicked far ahead of this. They just flash in a Snapcaster. So the good thing is that the Snapcaster didn't get us. Anyways, that's frustrating. But I guess we block there, take one. Yeah, that sucks. I could have gone off Death Shadow, which would have probably been a better play. That was just a mistake on my part. What are you going to do? We're going to rattle off the next four and still do well here. That was just 100% my fault, though, Drew. You got, got chit-chatting with the chat and missed, misplayed. We'll jump back into it. Hopefully we can tighten up and run run it back. Because I should have won that match. We played in such a way that put us very far ahead. I'm going to ship this. If we get a couple discard spells that keep this, but these are blue and we've only got this. Uh, we'll keep this one. Keep other. Put a land on top, sure. Opponent plays Windswept Heath. My hand is not very good against a Windswept Heath deck. Okay. So both of these cards here suck. Like they're, they're, both of these cards are going to make this matchup a lot more difficult. Our hand's just not very good against this style of a deck. But I guess I can just take Kite Sail Freebooter and then I can still Thought Seize next turn and get rid of this Mantis Rider. I'll find a way to deal with Thalia. This Humans deck is like really annoying to play against from a Death Shadow perspective. 
whenever you can't take a Thalia with your discard spells, it's just like you're just asking for trouble. Yeah, there's Thalia. We got the taxes going on. We just got tax reform, though. What is this? All right. Um, so there's another freebooter. My opponent can't cast. The only card in their hand they can cast is man is meddling mage, but mantis rider or freebooter is like much worse than meddling mage in my opinion. I would take mantis rider because it just clocks us the hardest. And the Freebooter is just going to take two stubs, but don't matter. The Meddling Mage is probably going to name a card that's not in our hand. There's the Canopy. Mobile Hierarch. Okay, so my opponent cracks me for three. And then they're going to cast Meddling Mage, right? And just name, like, Fatal Push. Something that I have four of in my deck, probably. Okay. They named Tassiger. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be mad. Death Shadow, sure. Um so I can't opt and cast Tassiger because of the Thalia, so now, I wonder if it's even worth... I don't have that many... I've only got three white cards in my deck. So, I think I'm just going to play conservative, get a swamp, keep my life total high enough, and then just play out this big old 4-5 and have this hold down the fort. Reflector Mage. Don't be a Reflector Mage. There's a three-mana Thalia. God, that's so bad. So they cracked me for four. And then with this on Death Shadow, I don't think I can win. That's another thing that I've noticed with this uh, this build of Death Shadow is that I wonder how he beats these little creatures decks without access to like Kozlek's Return, Team or Battle Rage, anything like that. Like. I just I see I see Ochoa having a big problem with these little creature decks. You probably need to play like a bunch of engineer explosives in your sideboard. And it's just like we have nothing for the matchup, which is which is not good. Lingering Souls is okay. It's like good, not great. Taking three off of an unmaking seems vomit inducing, but it's like Lingering Soul doesn't do anything. It's not large enough. I guess it can hold down. It's probably better than Unmaking. But this is a rough configuration to play against a small creature's deck. We already had a subscriber tonight. It's already been a good night, even if we get wrecked by in this league. Yep, we'll keep this. Because we got a couple cantrips to help us out and find our lands here, and we can Inquisition on one and a Death Shadow. We actually can Thought Seize. We can have Thought Seize next turn. If we draw a land, we can go Thought. We can Inquisition on one and then Thought Seize into a Death Shadow. But I guess my opponent's on the mulligan, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be as aggressive as possible to start and just go to 15 right off the bat. Opponent put a card on the top. Check out their top card here. So each of these are annoying. 
I think I'm just going to take Kite Sail Freebooter, or take Dahlia, then take Freebooter. Because those are the two most annoying cards. Fiend Hunter is not really going to be a problem, because I can just kill it when it goes and gets rid of my uh, Death Shadow. I assume this is that, yep. All right, now we're going to opt for a land. We need we need that land right there. And now we're just going to inquisition this um inquisition this freebooter. We can also figure out what our opponent kept on top. You have another freebooter. That's kind of a beating. That's actually a real beating. Now I just want to take the Fiend Hunter. Because like the whole plan was take the freebooter, they Fiend Hunter my Death Shadow, push the Fiend Hunter, but now they just go freebooter, freebooter, and I don't have an answer. So I guess we're going to get, get our big guy in the... Make it so we can land the big, big pop of Death Shadow. The biggest creature of them all. But it took two. And this pumps this. So we're still going to have the biggest creature on the board. But my opponent plays any other human. They got to take push. Yeah, we're in a little bit of trouble. All right, so let's start out. So I now thought sees this freebooter. Then my dash shadow is like guaranteed to be larger. Take eight, take then one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of, check this out. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to hope my opponent doesn't draw a land. Because this Mantis Rider is going to like, is going to give me, give me a rough, rough time if my opponent draws a land. Don't draw a land. Alright, I don't think they drew a land because they'd already be playing it if they did. And now my opponent can only get him for one. They drew another freebooter. They drew Bob. So that was the third freebooter, Bob. That's a pretty good draw. So now I need a land. If I draw a land, then I can at least get rid of this Magus Rider. But we're in a rough way. Okay. So I can actually just go get the basic planes with this. And then Snapcaster. This sucks, dude. <laughs> it has not been well, it has not been going well tonight. Inquisition of Kozilek. And we'll go in with this guy. My brother finds that <laughs> finds that funny. Which you gotta love it when your brother's you know gives you a good troll. I mean, we're getting dumpstered here, Drew. I'm going to chump this champion of the parish if my opponent gives me. Okay. This is a very conservative attack. Let's say I've got another thing. There's. All right. 
Yeah, I mean, we're just going to keep attacking with Death Shadows. My opponent's got a Reflector Mage that I'm dead, but, like, you know, we can just put that in the list of cards we're not beating. Dude, what a mean guy. All right. We'll take that. My opponent kind of had to block there because then they're dead to Street Wraith. And I just Arab. <laughs> what is this? What do my opponent shock for? I don't understand why they would shock and not. Is it like a, they draw three mana Thalia? Or is it Xanthra Necromancer? It's Anafenza the Foremost. Okay. Ooh. So that's not bad. So I can actually attack. So he has to chump my. So he has to chump my death chat. I think I can actually get all three of his creatures here because I attack with both of my creatures. He chumps death shadow. Then I can. Well, if I attack with all three of my creatures and he just chumps chumps death shadow, eat snapcaster mage. Then I can Collective Brutality, gain two life here, get rid of this, get this back, hit his Anafenta, because I'm assuming he's just going to go Chump Eat. If he goes Chump Eat. But then next turn, I can just like... I can just pause here and then have the same thing available. See, I'm just going to crash in with this Death Shadow. And I just air bomb and crush him. All right. So this will start off with this. That's pretty good. So now I'm just going to go escalate with two modes, minus two, minus two. And then we'll just gain and drain here in case they find a way to kill this. We'll ditch our land. And then we should be pretty good here. Road Squad, I think we, uh, you know, did a pretty good job navigating this game back to, you know, a position where we're where we're ahead. You know what I mean? Like, like I think we're in good shape. Yeah, there we go. Now we have to win a match on the draw, which is going to be pretty rough. The humans, these human lists. Well, yeah, because it's like, it's free, right? Like, you can basically do whatever you want with this deck because of how the mana base is. It's like sometimes the five-color Death Shadow lists get a little weird. So we got our Delve, we got our Delve homies. <laughs> we got our Delve homies over here. Drew, do you have a Drew? Do you have Amazon Prime? I don't think I want to cut anything. This is just like not efficient to have removal to have, especially on the draw. I would like to board these veils out on the draw if I could, but that's not gonna happen. Dude, Drew, hook up Twitch, Pro hook up Amazon Prime with your Twitch Prime account, and then you get a free subscription to me, which makes me bank. It fills up the tip jar here. You see this tip jar? It's like kind of fill, but it's not like super full. 
Yeah, we'll keep this. Opponent mulligans. I love it when our opponent mulligans when we're playing the discard deck. You can go back on my Facebook page, Drew, and I posted a link about it. Yeah, that, that could be true, but I, I'm not sure that I want to take three points of damage against the beatdown deck to trade with one creature. Like at least Liliana, if I've got a if I've got a board going on, it can. What they do there? They put a card on the bottom. We might be able to play a Death Shadow next turn, depending on what we draw. Yeah, we're definitely taking this Dahlia. Play a Decepticon. I don't want to take the three damage. Like Liliana, if the game if the game uh, stalls out, then we're in a decent spot. What they draw? They drew. They draw two drop. No, they drew a two drop. They would have played it. Why are they shock? Oh, they drew Vi. Oh, this doesn't cast Vi. Okay, got it. I think I want to opt for a land. And then deal with this, and then like if we, then we can go like Thoughtseize Death Shadow next turn. The real beat. That's the plan. So that's a land, but it's not the land we want. I don't even know if I keep this. This land just doesn't do anything. It lets me cast Op next turn. So this land basically says take two damage, scry one, draw a card, which is probably fine. Not really excited about this land, but and it gets us close, gets us to Snapcaster Mage. And if we ever get into a position where we can like Snapcaster Mage eat this champion of Parish and then opt, then like that's what we're talking about. Dude, just look on my profile, Drew. I'm streaming. I can't be dealing with your with your DMs while I'm streaming, like. All right, so we take one, opponent smacks us. They got no plays. No, oh, no, control Z. All right, again, we, I don't think we want this. I think we want, we don't want any more black. There we go. Ooh. So what could they have here? That kind of makes gives us like wrecks us a little bit. So I could just I really just want to play this Liliana. If my opponent had a creature to vial in, they would have done it on the main phase to make this champion of parish champion of parish bigger. So I think I'm just gonna edict. And then next turn go like Dot Seize Death Shadow. <laughs> I'm like 85% sure this Liliana is going to win us this game. I can't imagine them slow rolling this. Like what like it, it's got to be just uber wrong for them to like cuz what can they bring in? They could have they could have put in like a noble hierarch off this, I guess. Yeah. If we end tap with this Liliana, like Houston, I think I think we're I think we've got it made. Hey viewers, guys! I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. If you guys uh, like what you see, please uh, please check out, please hit the follow button. If you ever, what is this? Is this a Mirror Crusader? God. All right, so we can go Thought Seize. So we can tick up. Yeah, so I think I want to go Snapcaster Thought Seize and play Death Shadow and then tick up and ditch a Thought Seize because I don't want to get Reflector Maged. Yeah, I think that's our plan here. So let's...
I probably discard my Thoughtseize. And if my opponent discards a Reflector Mage, okay. So let's go here. Yo, Drew with join my little brother joins the Rome squad. And look at that into the tip jar we go. And it explodes. Yeah. Take this Reflector Mage, play out our big homeboy. Drew, you can, now do you know how to get the emotes? You click on the little smiley face in the uh, chat box. Two subscribers tonight. Yeah, do what my brother did. God, is this a reflector mage? That is like could be worse. That's actually pretty bad. This goes out of Liliana. No, not quite our mage. Drew, Drew's the people's champ. All right. Now we got to do ourselves some siphon. We are bona fide stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Because I literally don't know how we kill this. That thing's a two-turn clock. Like, that was a real that was a real good draw from our opponent there. So I've got lingering souls. I have two lingering souls, two snapcaster mages. There's like a chance that I have to hit that right now in order to win this game. Like I might have to play this Liliana and go down. As like bad as that, that just feels real rough. Alternatively, I can attack with a Death Shadow, play another Death Shadow, and held up Fatal Push. Which seems like the better play to me. Elliot's going to give me paper cards for... Nice! I think our line here is attack, play Death Shadow, because then our opponent has to block next turn, and this is going to come into play, so our Snapcaster can chump this. When in doubt, we turn him sideways. This stream is a turn him sideways kind of stream. Now, it's not even the end of the world if our opponent hits, like, a Reflector Mage here. If they hit a, whatever it is, a Mantis Rider, we're just dead. There you go, Drew. Freebooting. Okay, so now on this trigger on the stack, we smoke this. And now my opponent's got a top deck. Like, we're actually not in a terrible spot right now. Because my opponent's got to, if they attack with us, they have to chomp, which means we get Snapcaster back, we get the Snap back and Opt. And we do have a Path to Exile in our deck. So, like, we're not, we're not just dead. Not every 
day do we beat a Mirren Crusader. I'm just going to say that. John, I'm so glad you're a part of the Roan Squad, Drew. Yeah, we have had two subscribers tonight. Tonight he's been off the chains. Oh, it was UW Control yesterday. We played, yeah, we played this yesterday. You weren't around. It was not, it was not good. It was a rough day. This is gas. Because now my opponent's got a chump block. My opponent just killed themselves. They literally just killed themselves. My opponent just forgot how Death Shadow works. The one day, yeah. Now my opponent just died. My opponent's like, wow, Death Shadow is a complicated magic card. It's my opponent's right to lose. Like, they are allowed to just do an attack that kills them. Recurring incomes are important to... Uh, Recurring incomes are definitely a really important part of subscribing on Twitch. Did you know if you're a college student, you get a year free of Amazon Prime? Or it's either you get a year free of Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime. So don't let your dreams be dreams. Let me get some water while, this, while we're waiting for this match to pop. So we are one and one. We theoretically should be two and zero. Oh. The guilt factor. I want to keep this deck. We had a snapcaster mage and a discard spell, and our opponent mulligans. I could have aided our navigation. Yes, probably we needed it. For we definitely needed it. So they put a card on the bottom. Nice. Horizon Canopy. If only. Um, I'm going to leave this fetch line around in case we need some revolt action. Might delay our Tassiger slightly, but like whatever. All right. So this is a Coco version. All right. So I'm going to take this Meddling Mage because I can go snap. Uh, snap thought sees for this, and this meddling mage is going to name Fatal Push. The humans are taking over. We got the lieutenant in the house. That's pretty good, too. So let's check this out. Let's get rid of our opponent's doohicker. Ooh. I guess Mantis Rider doesn't really matter because we can go Fatal Push it. And then we can Snapcaster Mage with a leave Fatal. We can Delve Play Tasker and leave Fatal Push in our... In our uh, Whatever it's called in our graveyard. Whatever this thing over here is. <clears throat> I didn't turn on my Nightbot music. No. No. Everybody's just checking out my screen, how disorganized it is while I upload Nightbot. 
This is the old one screen life here. All right, there's your Manish Rider. That's part of I'm, that's part of what I'm going to do when I go home for Christmas. All right, so we're just going to fetch shock smoke this thing. Right. Get a godless shrine. Just get this weak shit out of here. All right, I guess we cycle. Ooh. So, one, two, three, four. So let's just play this. There's no need to take too much damage. Is that music coming through weird? Because I don't have my headphones in. These Death Shadow decks are just so gas. Like, you just play big, huge morons. You've got, like, interaction for days. It probably means I should put my headphones in. Oh, my headphones are in my pocket. Lieutenant's here. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Thalia. Don't you speak such... Let me go like this. It's not supposed to be too loud. It's supposed to be kind of like a background. Um, so... Our opponent doesn't have any cards, so we're not going to do that. So I could just go shock, attack with death shadow. You snap, push. Yeah, I guess we're going to do that. Get this guy into play. Seems like an adult decision. Then we just crack him for 12. We'll leave up our, we'll bluff our stubborn denial. Or just like 12 ball. Like, I cast two discard spells, two removal spells, and cracked him for 12 on turn four. Yeah, I just, I just, I saw David Ochoa's deck, and I was like, all right, we'll give this, a, we'll give this a whirl tonight. I've been losing some tickets lately because I've been playing decks that I'm not, like, super good with. So, actually, I think my next emo is going to be, like, a, a, a Magic Online event ticket that's on fire. Because as I've, since I've got this sponsorship... I've just been lighting tickets on fire, just playing new decks, which has been helping a lot for my viewership, my subscribers, but like, whew, whew. we are hemorrhaging the tickets. And we got rid of the stubs. Do you have them? Something like that. But yeah, we definitely... I think... Let me look in here. See if I can ask for my next emote. Let's check this shit out. Where is it? Where are we? Where are emoticons? You already played one of my research and please feel free to swap. I don't know when the emo I don't know what the emoticon threshold is, you know. That's what I, I don't know. Like, like when when do I when do I get a second one, you know? I just have so many questions.
I missed everything the chat said there for while I was looking at my emoticons. I see some cool little... To be honest, you want to reduce the amount of spewing with decks, get a Skype partner. The problem with a Skype partner is that, like... So I took a survey. I'm going to keep this hand. I took a... Well... Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. I, I did a survey um, recently, and, like, the number one thing that people come to see... Uh, a stream with is they come to see the streamer's personality. See, so I have, I get three emotes at ten, but I have I have ten subscriber points. Like, what what is this? You know, like, like. It's going to sound weird, weird, but, like, I'm the talent, and that's what people are coming to see, you know? Kappa. I still have to, like, analyze that stream, uh, that survey. I need to go down and get a package. Survey Monkey's sweet. It was just really easy to do this. All right, fatal push off the top. Wow, dude. It's like better. It is so good to be great. I think I'm still going to push this, even though I drew this collective brutality. The fact that my opponent paused there makes me think that they've got some more action. And I'd love to be able to brutality something like next turn. And uh, hit a company. Ditch this Lingering Souls. It's like just how we drew it up. But I'm not interacting with the chat, right? I think it's five subscription. I think five subscribers are five points and ten are ten points. It just means you get to presumably the second most wanted thing on the survey, which is present good lines of play. Yes, that was the second most thing. Yeah, I like Survey Monkey a lot, Drew. But see, I have 11 sub points currently. So, you know, like, I guess I just, I, oh, I should pass my turn. Like, I have 11 subscriber points. I, I guess I gotta look, I'll just, re I'll read through this after the stream. Link shows a threshold for each number of me emotes. Okay, so it's like, it's 10, right? S emote slot subscriber points. 10 is 3. So I should have 3 emotes available. I think. Again, I'm not exactly sure. That's annoying. That is so annoying. Land. I just can't cast anything now because of that. This card's good. This card's really good. Oh man. Yeah, dude. I feel oppressed right now. This is game two, yeah, we've learned it's also opponent takes thought and sees. I always was like wamboozled by the fact that these decks might be if we don't draw a land soon, we're in a lot of trouble. If we draw a land, we can we can play magic. Alright. We're we're getting close to game three. So I, the first deck that I played in modern was Naya Company. And I played, I, I brought, like, Thalia's in, because it was mostly for, like, combo decks, but I brought Thalia in against every single three-mana, like, good stuff deck in when I was in the play every time. I think when I come back from Christmas and I have, like, a good mic, I'm going to set up a Death Shadow, like, tutorial. 
Like I'm just going to load up all the Death Shadow decks, just talk about them all, and uh, like just dissect it all. And I might add something into my chat on the bottom that just talks more about like, you know, this is what this is the Death Shadow deck I'd be playing now. This is like why we do it. I think that's what I'm, I think I'm going to add that to the stream. So yeah, I think I think I yield. Opt. I think that was a bad name. Okay. Who's <laughs> yielded after turn three? Two, four, two, three, four, five, fetch basic. So we fetch basic swamp. I'm just going to thought scour on my main phase because I want to. My opponent freebooters me, whatever. It's not like we're beating anything else this game. All right. So we take six. Or we take five. We go to four. Next turn we push this Thalia. Then we take three. So our opponent doesn't resolve another spell this whole game. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. You're still here, Drew. Tell mom I said great. Thank you, and thank you very much. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep this. I'm running back the same way. Dally on the play is just like so bad. I, I could I kinda want stubs. To play a mirror force. Should I just like force push them? Like should I just choke my opponent? Darth Vader style. Would like to play first. This hand's sweet. Rage kill is where it's at. <laughs> so we're going to cycle before we fetch, and then I'm actually going to opt instead of Thought Scour, because I'd like more looks at a land if our opponent gives us that option. So let's hope that we don't get... Um, I would like to be able to opt here. That's a hot magic card as well. We might, we might keep a land, we'll probably keep a land on top, and we might go, like, double Death Shadow next turn. So I, I think I'm going to be an adult and push this. So then maybe, maybe because of Thalia, it's important for us to find another land. God, we are so good at this game. Yeah, I think I think we're just going to, like, max greed. We're going to play two Death Shadows. If my opponent, like, could you imagine if my opponent just untaps here and plays as its Static Caster? How many subscribers do you need, Dylan? I need, like, as many subscribers as I can get. I get paid to have a subscriber. Like, so every time somebody subscribes to my channel, I get money for that. Yeah, if we can, I'm gonna need a lot of subscribers to quit my day job. But that would be the dream. That's pretty awesome, Drew. That is pretty awesome. If they subscribe with Twitch Prime, they have to resubscribe every month. So I might have to like you send me a name with their um Twitch stuff, so then I, then I can remind them to do that. I'll just send out like a weekly, a monthly email that says, call in and subscribe. I think I want a Thought Scour. I really just want to find lands. Like, I don't, like, 
I don't really want to interact with my opponent. If we find a land with our draw step, then I'm just going to go push, push. All right, we're, we're going like... Because even if I go push this, push, push, my opponent can still company next turn. So I'm just going to try to get some 4-4s. Four That's not bad. So I guess now we can go like this. So can I race my opponent? Here's the real question. Let's double Lieutenant. That's bad. We're going to have to take one of these value of those lieutenants. And then we crack in for six. My opponent can hit me back for a bunch, but like... They can't hit me back for enough to kill me. At least I didn't do that math very well before I did that, so... Oh, um, friend sending me a trade request, so give me one second. He needs his, he needs, my opponent, my buddy needs his Snapcaster Mages back. So, so my opponent is a Thalia's lieutenant, so how do I not, let me just get this out of here, I was borrowing my friend's uh, snapcasters, so let's think, cycle, my opponent gains two life off of this, which sucks. If my opponent didn't gain two life, I could just kill them. How do I win? Block, block. So my opponent next turn is going to play Thalia, and they have Path up right now. I think I'm dead. Right, so, because my opponent's got Path, I go Thought Scour, what am I looking for? What gets me out of this? If I go into Lingering Souls, so I think how I win is I pass, when my opponent goes to path one of my creatures, I get revolt, I push this, push this, go to two, my opponent plays Thalia's lieutenant, I block this and take one. And I think that's how we win. So I'm not going to attack. Because we just block, hit this, hit this, block this, take one. That's far opponent's got nothing. 
Man, a TBR. Don't don't even get me started about Team or Battle Rage, my friend. Like Team or Battle Rage is right here. What's our game plan if they just swing with a freebooter for two? Then we just fatal push it. We just fatal push it and reevaluate. Okay, so this path happens. We'll get a planes, and then we don't let our opponent untap. No, I did this in the no, I didn't do this in the wrong order. Okay, I had to do it like this. Is my opponent gonna pack to negation me? That'd be sweet. So I just need to hope that my opponent doesn't have, like, a way to either remove my Death Shadow as a blocker, or well, they can't they can't remove Death Shadow and play Thalia's Lieutenant in the same turn, unless they have another path. My opponent's probably thinking to themselves that they blew it. Hey man, I give them what they, I play whatever they rent me. That's that's what I'm all about here. Beggars can't be choosers. Speaking of renting, if any of you guys have any questions about um, about renting Magic Online signals, you should check out Card Order. They are the best in the business. Best bot chain. All right, man. So now we just go like opponent, you know, one time. Because if we had tap and get the lingering souls, I think I'm in pretty good shape. Unless my opponent plays another cam ball. If my opponent plays another cam ball, then life life's gonna get pretty darn tough. I totally lied about like my opponent could go reflector mage. Ooh, that's spicy. Even puts a counter on the chase. Damn it. Because I need to kill this. So again, I can just so I can just path Jace, play Tassiger, which seems like my best line of play. I don't have a lingering souls in the graveyard. We didn't like God phase it there. No. So yeah, just path Jace, path Jace, play Tassiger, and then I just don't block, and I plan to take one from this noble hierarch. Path to Asker Hope. I, I like that plan. And we're going to hard bluff on this um, with our bunch of blue mana we're going to leave open like professionals. So we don't need this, 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 or this. And then next turn, we send with both the homies. He's got a chump, and then we play Lingering Souls. That's the game plan here.
That's a pretty good sign for the home team. All right, let's see what's going on. I don't think this is going to really hit anything important, but I do want to check out what our opponent's doing. This could definitely be, you know, Reflector Mage. Okay, so they hit Company. Home team untaps from Reserve Serve. That's where we're at. So my opponent hits two creatures. How do I win? How do I win? My opponent did just win with that Reflector Mage. They went for it. Do I attack? Because if I attack with both of these, they have to jump. But let's say they hit two creatures, two Lingering Souls now. So we just play Souls and we pass. And we again, we just cross our fingers. Yo, what MTG bot said, if you guys ever missed part of the stream, want to check it out, you can look my YouTube page up. I don't even want to look. Maybe I put a whiff. That counts as a whiff, if that's all they have. That that's a whiff. That is just a hundred percent a whiff. God, we're gonna win this game. Houston, we are going to win this game. <clears throat> Whoo! So I can crack in for two, play two lingering souls. Even win through a removal spell. This forces a chump block. God, magic's great. Magic is great. Alright, we're gonna go beginning of combat. Let's choose these two homeboys to come in with. Magic cards, magic cards. Soul power. I appreciate that, Johnny. Johnny, your Twitch, your Twitch Prime subscription did, in fact, uh, run out. I'm just letting you know. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that. What is this? Opponents company. It's a solid rip. Now, should I push something in response? I probably should in case my opponent hits a Camball. Oh, didn't renew Prime? Yeah, that'll happen. I probably should just push this now to play around Camball. My opponent hits like a Jace. I'm going to feel kind of bad. Now your oh, Camball's... Kills, I can't cast it also, right? There's a mage. Meddling mage, okay. The cannonball is a singleton, okay. I did not know that. Quad Thalia, that makes sense as well. The old Thalia collected company combo deck. Path to Exile. Joke's on you. So our opponent gets rid of one of these. I'll probably double block this Avacyn's Pilgrim. Hit the Tasker, that makes sense. Nice. I'm gonna double, I'm just gonna... Um... So if I triple block this, I attack my opponent's gut to chump this. I play another thingamajigger. Let me think. Triple block trade. 
attack chump and then we've got we're at parity again with the board I think I want to just I, I like I think I want a triple block because then I get one creature off the board my opponent gets another creature off the board probably this hierarch we hold back our lingering souls tokens and then we have Mantis Rider and Reflector. Mantis Rider, these two against Tassiger and my draw step against his draw step. Ooh, Tasker can't be played because he companied on his main phase. Yep, that's right. Uh, I guess we'll just. Wow. We are just ripping like the sun today. So I think I get in with these two. Get in with these two. Now nah, I might as well make it so we can beat a Reflector Mage off the top. So coming in with our Death Shadow. And then I'm just going to full retail delve. I don't really, and I'll get rid of like, I guess what cards do I not want to draw? I don't really want to draw Angler. I don't want to draw Thought Scour. And I don't want to draw Inquisition. That would have been a good play as well, Archmage. So now I can attack with both of these. Opponent chumps, lets this go. Though if I attack with everything, my opponent has to chump two creatures. Let's opt first. Alright, so I guess I'm not going to attack with everything because then we can't beat a removal spell. My opponent goes like block, block, takes three. We'll just hold back the Lingering Souls. I can just Thought Seize my opponent also. Kappa. I would have attacked with everything if I could have beaten a, a Bounce spell or a Removal spell off the top. But, which means I would have needed one more piece of interaction. We'll like bluff some interaction here, even though it's it's probably not likely that my opponent's gonna my opponent can't play around interaction. And like if I would have had interaction, I would have like made a better attack next turn. Hey, everybody in the chat, let's congratulate John G C Brissett on his first pro point this weekend. Way to go, G C Brissett! All right, we're two and one with some some hot death shadow action. What was that for? You did well, man. You did well. I would like to play first. My opponent's... I wonder if that's their social security number. Um, this hand's all right. I'm going to start off with a thought seize. This hand's like a little greedy, but I, I can see a world where we should mulligan this. But I probably actually, considering these two cards are kind of a non I probably should have mulliganed. It's just like against my religion to mulligan decks with Thoughtseize and Fatal Push in it.
dismember chalice. So we're going to take this chalice. And then we're going to take this. Probably the Thought Not Seer. Which kind of sucks. Because that means they're going to be able to dismember one of my two threats. So maybe I should take the dismember and like. But the problem is the turn three Thought Not's going to blow. We'll see what we draw. Maybe we'll draw like a dis. Okay. So Urza's Tower. So now we Thought Scour. And we are so good at this game. Oh, I'm going to get Watery Grave again. I think I'm going to take the Dismember. Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Tower. They have a Karn, though. I kind of want to take Dismember to get Gurmag Angler down. And I'm going to lose, like, a card to Thought Not Seer. Probably my Liliana, but if I draw a Fetch Land, then my Fatal Push is turned on. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this Dismember. We're going to get a Threat down. I'm not sure if that's right. Like, I think that's a tough, I think it's a tough call. They probably play their power plant. Yep. All right. That's a good draw. Can I play both of these? One, two. No, not even close. All right. We're going to play nasty or nasty. And then I do think I'm going to push the Thought Not Seer with the trigger on the stack. Because I, my opponent might, I don't really want to take my entire next turn to tap out and play Liliana. Especially my opponent could have like, this fills up one, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to be able to play Tasker next turn if I do this and draw, do something else. But I think I'm just going to kill this with the trigger on the stack. As weird as that sounds, like, I don't really care. I will, I'm just doing this for, like, mana efficiency. Could use the opportunity to resolve the Liliana. It might be better. Depends on what the opponent takes. I mean, I would assume they're taking this Liliana. Oh, nice. So now they should take Tassiger. That was sick. That was an absolute sick draw. Like, oh my god, my opponent's probably like falling out of their seat. 15 viewers, I hope everyone's having a fantastic night tonight. My name's Dylan Hubby, and you have uh, wandered onto my stream. Please check out what, uh, what we're up to tonight. So it's thought not see is gone. Yeah, now we're just gonna snap thought seize. Like we're not we're not getting got by this Karn here. And we're gonna have to be like careful of you know reality smashers. Tower tower. Yeah, we're just gonna take this. This chalice doesn't matter. My opponent doesn't have a top deck that kills me. Smasher puts us to one, then we eat it. Hey, you're welcome on my stream. If you guys uh, like what you see, please hit the follow button. Chalice for dose. Okay, so there's that, that thing we were talking about. Now I'm just going to edict this. And then we play around back. I think I think I just crash. Yep, 
Yeah, we're just going to crash. We die to whatever the card is. Reality Smasher or Walking Ballista. There's the tower. My opponent Chalice is for two. That's kind of annoying. Chalice for one. Okay. Again, we're not going to play around. We're going to put our opponent dead on board next turn. So now it's reality. They've got like probably three or four draws in their deck that do it. The way that they're pausing, that doesn't seem like that's one of them. Come on. There we go. All right, so we're going to bring in, I think we're bringing the Stony Silence Disenchant package here. But yeah, what I was saying there, you guys want it on my stream. If you like what you're doing, please hit the end. Please hit the follow button. Blisses and Smashers, yeah. Um, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. It's the best way to make it so other people can see. Uh, if you guys missed part of the stream, check out my YouTube channel. It's linked below. Bring in these Fulminator Mages. Uh, excuse me. Check out my channel. It's below. And uh, if you guys need Moto Symbol, Magic Online Signals, and check out Card Hoarder. As they are the best in the business. I'm always torn if Stony Silence is actually good against Eldrazi Tron or not. You know, I just never really know. Because like, I feel like I've got way too many cards to bring in here. My opponent's going to be siding out. So I want to bring... I think I want to cut some Taskers. Yeah, I don't think the Stony Sign... We'll bring in the Disenchants. I'm going to board out Taskers because it doesn't block Reality Smasher and they're going to have plenty of Graveyard Hate. So I want to fight, find a way to fight around that. Oh, we got ourselves... Philo, Philip Joe, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, I think we want to cut, I don't think Stubb's that great, especially for bringing in Rejection. <clears throat> and Fatal Push is, like, highly medium. But I could see Fatal Push being better on the draw than Fulminator Mage. I've always thought the way to beat Eldrazi Trons to not attack their mana base. I thought I was just, just trying to, like, hope they don't Tron you and then try to beat them in a fair game. If that makes sense. But it's probably better than having this many fatal pushes. I could see maybe cutting... I'll cut two pushes. I'll bring in two Fulminators. I have no idea if this is like adequate sideboarding or not. Yeah, we're going to keep this hand because we can beat a Chalice. It's going to be difficult to beat uh, Relic in Chalice. But it's doable. I think we can get... If my opponent goes Relic into Chalice, I think we can still beat that. My opponent Mulligan to 5. Or Mulligan's a 6. They got the old 61 card heater here. We can go down and get a package after this. Got to remember to do that. All right, no relic. Thought scour into nasty germasty. There's the waste.
So this is going to be annoying, but we'll go Watery Grave. Thought Scour ourselves. One, two, three. We hit two lands, which is good. Two, three, four, five, six, fetch land. Yeah, so let's go like this first. And I think we just fetch one, two, because that's six right there. We're just going to get a tapped uh, white source and then just out of our entire graveyard. And get the old Germasty. Hopefully, I don't dismember this. There's a thought nuts here. Would you be like, sure. You got it, man. You can take any one of my cards I can't cast. So we have four outs to this chalice in our deck. It's going to be much harder to find without cantrips. The old Thoughtseize Buggin is alive and well. I don't think I'm trading damage. I think we're just holding, holding back. Oh, my opponent's... From old to six, they're coming together. If this is a smasher, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some serious thinking. Yeah, that's I'd probably take a shot from this snapcat from this reality smasher. Because if we find one of our outs to that chalice then we're going to want to have this thing in play. We do not have much time, though. Okay, I probably... I do have to block this next turn, I think. So let's get the Hallowed Fountain tapped. What if there lands left? Fetchable lands. i still got two... I have all three of my basics. So now we pass... After starting off so good, this has been such a miserable draw. Am I the only person that finds it weird that my opponent has a stop inside of their draw step? Their own draw step? Like, why do you want to stop inside of there? Alright, so I think we trade as sad as that sounds. Just hope our opponent doesn't have another threat. Okay, blister for two. So that's going to kill me next turn. So now we need, like, disenchant. Snapcaster isn't going to do it. Puts a counter. Pumps. Yeah, we're dead. That was... That was sad. For having a turn two Gurmag Angler, that was that was pretty sad. There's the Fulman Air Mage that worked nothing. Um I think we're gonna I think we're gonna run it back as is. would like to play first. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. We can deal with a chalice. We can kill something. I think because of this anguish I'm making, I'm pretty cool with stubbing a relic here. Stubbing a relic, or rejecting a relic or a map.
Like, I think this is okay. I love countering a, like a, things that set up my opponent's game plan. That might not be good. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna wait to crack this because this might be a revolt for like the thought knots here. Okay, so that's good. So now. Godless Shrine, Watery Grave, Death Shadow. And then we just hope for like no natural Tron. No natural Tron. Okay, that's, that's not, that could be worse. That's, that's cute. So let's take a look about what's going on here. So they have Karn coming. All right, so I think we just attack with Death Shadow, Urza's Mind. So my opponent hits the Tron land, then they, they have Karn. But we've got Karn covered in two ways. Our hand's very good. All right, so here's the question. Do we unmaking this right now? And we cross our fingers and we hope that our opponent does not hit. I kind of want to unmaking this because it gets our Death Shadow out of range of getting hit by... Um, getting hit by Dismember. Yeah, we're going to... Um, this, is, this is aggressive, but I think this is, this is what we want to do here. No, you can't do this, right? Okay. Okay, so they just hit a temple, so we're good. This game's over. I'm going to bed after mine, Johnny. I think I'm going to... I don't have another thing to fetch, unfortunately. i got to be up at 5 a.m., these 5 a.m. work days have been really been kicking my butt lately, which suck. I think that does it. We know all the stuff in our opponent's hand. They played Urza Mind. I appreciate that. Yo, Anguish and Making was the MVP. It's like a it's like a less efficient, more cool dismember. If that makes sense. God, we flooded out so hard this game. Exaxes. All right, going for the four one. A 4-1 would be nice. We do need to replenish our stock with all these other decks. This guy's got 40 trophies. Like, holy shit. We'll be right back.
Dude, we're going for the 4-1. Going for the 4-1. Then I'm posting this on YouTube, and then I'm heading to bed. I was dragging today. I didn't sleep very well last night. It was a long, long day. I think I'm going to keep this hand because if we draw another fetch land, we can play double shadow on two. We have a lot of decent draws. <laughs> All right. looks like we're in for a fight here. It's death shadow matchup time. It's right here. This is where men are made. You gonna stub me? You gonna stub me, bro? That's actually kind of bad if they do. Okay. Well, it's got it. They kept their bobble around. Okay, so we just pass. Our hand, our hand is very good for the shadow mirror. They bubble themselves, right? Yep. Opponent knows the first rule of death shadowing. So we're gonna drop six cards. Liliana the Veil be bad news, okay. I want a discard spell. All right, we're going to pass. This appears like it's going to get awkward quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's actually worth discarding this Liliana of the Veil. Rather than just flashing in this Snapcaster Mage on the main phase. Like I might flash it in, in a turn here. Okay. I really just want to keep these Death Shadows because if I draw a fetch land, I go triple Death Shadow, then it's just going to be insane. I think I'm just going to take this Fatal Push. And then I'm gonna flash this Snapcaster Mage in the end of turn. That is what the doctor ordered. God, the Death Shadows with this like anguish and making is just gonna be sick. You're gonna try mind break try. Is the storm matchup that bad? Yeah, dude. They just like have to take it. Didn't take on making. Okay. Alright, they're just getting rid of all my cards. They just rage. So I can just 12 my opponent and deal two to this Liliana. I think that's the game plan. I 
I don't think you're. I don't think you're gonna find Pulse out of the Death Shadow decks. All right. There, Chicken X twenty six. Though we could be in trouble now. Pono plays their own. Pono drops nine nine. We get stubbed. Yeah. And we attack the opponent. The opponent decays. All right. How did we get here? Like, how, how did we get to a point where we were like, felt like we were miles ahead. And now we're just like super behind. Yeah, how did, how did we how did we get to this point? That's sad. Like I just I felt like we had it all going on there. All right, so I don't like stubborn denials in these mirrors. What kind of sucks is that I have to keep in my Street Wraiths. Which Street Wraiths I don't like in the Grixis mirrors. But like the way Ochoa built this sideboard, he did not have very much for very much for, for fair matchups. Yeah, Fatal Push is good, for sure. But like I, I usually like boarding out Street Wraith in these matchups. But I just think between discard spells and uh, like the grindiness of the games, it's just not reasonable to think that the stubborn denial is going to be turned on. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run this back. I'm still like wamboozled about how we lost that game. I just like felt like we're so far ahead. And then it all just came crashing down. I would like to play first. Alright, so we're going to go... I guess we don't need to cycle this Street Wraith right now. Because it just gives our opponent, like... Unless we take a discard spell, which we could be wanting to take a discard spell. Now, we're going to hold on to this. This is our worst fetch land. Well, I guess not, because we, we play all three basics. Just take an Inquisition. Kind of feels mopey. There's an argument taking the Street Wraith. Maybe the Street Wraith's better than a random card at this point in the game. They, they kept. They fetched a blue land. I wonder if they kept Stubborn Denial in. Hmm. You saying it's just worth taking a random card? That probably would have been all right. Yeah, that makes sense. This is just a Tarmogoy for my opponent. Okay. So we know two out of the five cards my opponent's got. So I'll go get Godless Shrine into play tapped. All right, we're just gonna hope our opponent didn't draw, didn't draw stub. Okay. Get rid of this delta. We're an Esper plays a lot of lands deck. Swamp. I feel like basic planes is bad in this deck. I, I have not liked the basic planes, but Ochoa liked it. And he played the deck. Lingering Souls here, and I'll, I'll throw up. This doesn't look like a Lingering Souls. 
Death Shadow and Eternal Wave on its own. All right, we are we are winning the race, but my opponent's got ways to kill this. I don't have ways to kill this. I guess I have anguish in making. I forgot about that. Opponent ditched another Liliana, which is nice. Now, do I take up? Coachella said, in a lot of metas, it is pretty bad, and he would take it out. But he felt there would be a lot of blood for the GP. That makes sense. I saw he wrote about it. I didn't read up on it. Uh, Anders, one, two, three, word. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Do I take up mine? No, I guess I've got his first creature covered anyway. So let's go like this. And I want to win the Liliana race. Opponent still has red in their deck, so that means they probably have Terminates. Babel. Opponent should crack this on my turn, not on their turn. Yeah, that's vomit-inducing. That right there. Sometimes you just want to puke. And that is when you want to puke. Any lingering souls in a bad way. Yeah, now we're just we're just super dead. <sighs> Rip the four one dream. You are right, sir. Well, we're gonna get a chest here. We can open up a treasure chest. Maybe we'll get something sweet. Nice. Fucking traversing. They see me traverse and gets himself a big old garment toy. A big old goif. You gonna hold? hold? What are you gonna do? They just a fatal push. All right, I guess we'll just upkeep path this thing. Pass this big old moron. So I'm taking whatever pile has three lands in it. That's what we're taking. Choose this to sacrifice. Oh, come on. All right. That could be worse. That's pretty bad, but it could be worse. Justice. Come on. All right. Well, we're playing magic, I guess. Lingering souls. One time. Hook me up with a lingering souls. That's not bad either. So what does that do for me? So what do I have in my graveyard? I literally just have a Thought Scour. So maybe it's better... I think it's better to not plus this and pass. And my opponent does something with their Liliana, flash this Snapcaster Mage in... We're still like fighting the good fight. My opponent does. Do they just not have white in their deck? Target thought scour. Nice. Um, 
What can I hit? I can hit Lingering Souls. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the 4 1 is live. This has been like, I could not. My opponent's going to just roll out of their chair when they see this. Now my opponent needs their own Lingering Souls. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Yeah, we're just going to run it back the same. I will I will straight up lose to the damnation out of the Death Shatter deck. We're like you can take that to the bank. Heater. Okay, they cycle. So our opponent's got a land heavy hand, which is pretty poor in this matchup. But then again, so do we. What do we got? Just a discard spell. He probably takes, I would assume he takes my discard spell, yep. Didn't they fetch beforehand? I just worded that wrong. If they cycle a prefetch, they need lands. So that's what that means. We get a little death shadow here. We get a little little death shadow. You know, we are a little cute little death shadow right there. There's a cute little death shadow. Godless shrine. Yeah, I, I thought they fetched and then cycled. We got a cute little. We got ourselves a cute little Liliana. We got a cute little Liliana here. This probably gets another copy of Watery Grave. Maybe I'll just get Hallowed Fountain. God, don't do it. What a what a jerk. This guy's so mean. Like. Alright, so we're gonna get smacked for five. Feel bad about ourselves. It might not even be right to do five to us. Okay. We're getting our good old Taparuski land. Get our Hallowed Fountain. And let's just get lingering. In before team or battle rage. Both the opponent and I are flooding out. Don't play another threat. Like, just come on. Come on, dude. Don't. God, you're such a jerk. Nice. Joke's on my opponent. We're drawing like garbage. All right. So this goes against Watery Grave. But, but yeah, we'll, we'll get Watery Grave. I think I'm going to send in with this Lingering Souls token. Well, that could be bad if my opponent has a stubborn denial. 
Yeah, my opponent's got stubborn denial. That play was not good. Yeah, this is some seriously poor sequencing from my part. Yeah, you're right. That was some. Se I, I sequenced poorly there. I should have played my lingering souls and then attacked with a. Uh, played my lingering souls, then attacked with uh, the lingering souls if it resolved. Then we'll just chump this homeboy. Okay. So now I guess I make him block my Death Shadow. I should have played my Fetch Land. That was so stupid. That was so dumb. Oh, that was so dumb. Because my opponent's gonna... F I mean, it didn't end up really mattering, but... I should fetch now so that... Do I have a basic swamp? Yeah, I'm going to fetch now so that I can play this Tasker and get an activation out of it. So we don't want Inquisition, Street Wraith. We'll just get rid of all of these. We are just out grinding our opponent. There we go with the 4-1. Booyah. All right, let's open up a couple treasure chests for the two subs we had tonight. You guys are awesome. So let's open up one of these. See what we got. 20 play points. All right, we're running even. We'll open up one more. All right, one more, because I'm an addict, because I have a problem. Ornithopter. Okay. All right, I have a problem. I have a problem. All right, we're good. We're good. That We got two leagues now. We got two leagues here. We've been getting going. I was impressed with this deck. I, I think that... I think that I'm interested in playing this deck more, but messing around with its sideboard. <clears throat> I did like the white anguish and makings that we had here. I did like these. Um, the path felt fine. Uh, I, I would like to make room for a fourth Snapcaster Mage. No way. No way. Wow. Um, I would like to work around with this sideboard, I think, to have a couple more ways to grind. I don't want these stubborn denials in my deck after sideboard against any, like, other Death Shadow or Jund or Abzan deck. So I think I want to find a couple more cards. And I think I would also like a card like whatever that minus two, minus two, um, something to help me with little creature decks or an engineered explosives. But again, thank you everybody for showing up tonight. If you like what you see, please hit the follow button. Check out my YouTube channel, which is below us. And if you need any magic online signals, like Card Hoarder or go to Card Hoarder. Um, let's see if we can find ourselves. A halfway decent stream to send you guys to. I think I'm going to start a little blurb in this stream about um, about Death Shadow. I think that I just want to like... Um, I think I just want to be the Death Shadow guy on Twitch. You know, the, DS, the DSD man.
I have to like go get Nightbot to calm down here. Um, who do we got here that we know? All right, we'll we'll send you guys over to. Uh, I guess we'll send you guys over to Frank Lapore. So backslash host Frank Lapore is it L O R E Frank Lapore? All right, everyone has a good uh, good rest of their night, and everybody take it easy.